We are on our last energy, the master. I just want you to know that I'm the guru here. I know everything. I have all the answers. I'm closer to God than you, and I'm the best. <laughs> That's what the excessive inner master might say. I'm the leader. I'm the man. I'm in charge. I know it all. I'm a know-it-all. Ugh, know-it-alls are so annoying. <laughs> Uh, anyway, a good master energy, a balanced master energy that's reaching its potential might take the form of a teacher, a guide, a mentor, a leader, or it just might be internal, somebody that's really connected to their purpose, their spirituality, their truth, really deep inner wisdom. And a deficient master might be somebody that shies away from having their own answers, from having confidence and knowingness in who they are, uh, really taking the reins of their own life path, and of maybe being a mentor, teacher, guide, leader for others. Maybe they shy away from that out of fear or uh, lack of self-worth, not being good enough. So whereas the uh, lover energy, if it's a deficiency, it might lack a certain kind of self-worth and the master energy lacks a different kind of self-worth, a lack of self-worth in our own inner wisdom and knowingness. So when we go to find balance in this master energy, it's not just about changing our mindset. <laughs> I don't know why I did that voice. Going, okay, I know it all. I, I have inner wisdom. No, we have to cultivate inner wisdom from meditating, from life experience, from getting through pain and hardship, from learning with really great teachers and mentors, from studying. We develop that inner master over time. It's not just something we can say, okay, I'm there. The inner master has the humility and the wisdom that, in the sense that it knows it needs to develop and that perhaps the knowledge and wisdom of the universe is infinite and it's just growing and growing and growing. And maybe even at the height of the potential of the master, finding enlightenment, true self-knowledge and understanding of the really deepest levels of truth of the world and of ourselves. Obviously, I love this energy <laughs> as a meditation teacher. That's a, I have a deep connection to these concepts and these energies, but it might look very different from what I've said for you. Uh, so when you sit and find your own inner master, you can even just ask yourself how developed, you know, zero to 100 is my own inner master? Where do I need the work? Do I lack confidence? Am I not sitting still enough doing my inner work and develop that inner master? Or if you're a know-it-all, and want to be the guru and always on top, then we've got some hidden self-worth or insecurity issues that are inflating to hide themselves. <laughs> it happens. It happens to the best of us. I thought I knew everything when I was about 22. <laughs> uh, you know, that young arrogance that we sometimes get. So... Fulfill that inner master, fulfill all the seven energies of the soul, find balance in them. And that's how you'll find happiness and really fulfillment in life. That's how I see it. I hope that you've really enjoyed this series on the seven energies. There is a free meditation series that goes with it. If you haven't tried it yet, it's on my website uh, and app. And there's a free quiz if you want to find out which energies you're more dominant in or that maybe needs some more attention. And of course, there's the Seven Energies of the Soul book. Um, this is just one big promo, this video. That's what it feels like it's turning into. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Sorry. But I just hope that this is all really useful for you. Hope you find your path if you're not on it yet. And sit your ass down and meditate. You can think until the cows come home, and it might not change anything. So really sit down, close your eyes, and be still, and be neutral through all the fluctuations of energy, and find your inner wisdom. 
and come out the other side. Thank you for being here with me for this series. And uh, maybe I'll make another book called The Eighth Energy of the Soul. <gasps> Till next time. Probably not. Love you. Bye.